I was on stage at Madison Square Garden, 30,000 people screaming my name because I was warming up Duran Duran and they're yelling and screaming at me because I'm the warm-up act. But I'm like looking in their faces going, this is not real. Like literally, they'll be yelling and screaming for somebody else next week. And I'm only making X amount of dollars and I'm driving a 72 Skylark back to my apartment at 160th Street. So I'm like thinking, how, how absurd is this? And I'm a Brandeis graduate on stage in Leotard, not Leotard, we spandex with my shirt off and I'm playing funk. Why wasn't I succeeding as a funk artist uh, entrepreneur? One of the reasons is because of the success of hip hop. Hip hop blew funk out of the water and literally every funk artist in 1985 lost their deal because of the success of Walk This Way. I thought hip hop was a joke and a fiasco. Rap took our jobs. Rap came and said, look, let's get into a fight and just sucker punch us. So the only way to break the cycle is to break this touring thing and become a studio rat. So I started working with Puffy in 92. By 94, Biggie came out and the rappers, I, look, if you're rapping and you get to a word or a phrase and I don't understand the phrase, my brain is trying to catch up. And as I'm trying to figure out, what did you just say? I just missed the next two lines and now I'm lost. So I'm sitting there mixing and recording syllables that they're meaning something and connecting and becoming words and sentences is lost on me. And then one day my assistant engineer turned around to me and said, are you listening to this guy? I was like, no, not really. <laughs> he said, you should pay attention to what he's saying. I'm like, okay, all right, I will. So on the drive home, I put in the warning by the Notorious B.I.G. I was like, oh, this dude is like Shakespeare. I hadn't put together this idea that rap was the next extension of what we were doing. It hadn't coalesced for me yet. Biggie was the beginning of my, the turnaround and then my love for Puffy's entrepreneurial skills sealed it deal. Around 96 is when I was like, you know, this is black music. I don't care how it's made. I don't care whether they're seen as prolific or not. This is Fats Waller. This is Little Richard. This is the new thing. <laughs>